This is Mr. and what I have for you today is a nine times zap dragon attack on this 10 or 11. Let's dive in, have a couple of looks at this. It only goes for two minutes, this attack, so it should only be a little bit of a four and a half minute sort of length video. You can see the electro drag has come down to help create part of the funnel. We've got a Sui hero part zapping three of the air defenses. Now, as you can see up here, great value, two air defenses and an inferno has gone down because the air defenses flanked the inferno so three zaps three zaps splash damage from the zaps took out the inferno one air defense at the bottom's gone it leaves one air defense which is close to the outside easily easy snipe for the loon could have taken out with the heroes but your heroes were needed to create a little bit of a funnel also help take that drag the uh whiz out now we've got the balloons coming down tanking just for some big bombs in case there were any there at the moment and now look at that clan castles coming out Look, it's neither here nor there with this clan castle, really. Big bomb, air skellies, bunch of whole bunch of air skellies by the look of that. I think what have we got coming out of the clan castle? We've got some archers and uh, I think there's a couple of witches there. So the witches will kind of hold up the dragons just a little bit, but not too much. All the raid spells have been done already. This raid spell here that was placed didn't get a lot of value out of that raid spell. So kind of like he really only attacked this base with one raid spell that benefited the troops that were attacking the base really queen's still up grand ward's still up all the abilities have been used already at this stage dragon down here just cleaning up a little bit of trash some of the queen's archers cleaning up some trash over on that left hand side towards the nine o'clock position if that mortar now look at that those archers won't be threatened by too much so i'm should path no they're not going to path that way okay so maybe they'll work in league with the dragon maybe one of them will go over and take out this builder's hut don't hold your breath no they're not going to do that so plenty of dragons left up we've got these two down here there's two down here by the way one up there and then we've got one two three four five six seven eight dragons so there's eight dragons left at the end of this attack let's have a look how many he brought in and he brought one electro six loons and ten dragons so he's only lost two dragons in the entire attack and we did know that one of the rages he didn't get much value out of at all all air defense uh, expos plus skellies from two witches in the cc to really hold the dragons up now would the cc change would a change in cc have made a difference in other words if it was for instance an inferno dragon cc if it was a cc that maybe had an electro in it or two drags or a bunch of baby drags or obviously if it was only loon and lalo c to c then nothing would have even come out. So it would have been like there's no CC even present at all. But I don't know if there would have made too much difference. I mean, dra skellies really hold up dragons at the best of time. So in terms of holding up dragons, I definitely think that the witch archer CC really played a big part. Now let's have a look what's going on down here. Witches, archers have come in trying to get those balloons through to do as much damage as possible but bang they've just all gone down way too much didn't even take out that air sweeper so the rage spell didn't get a lot of rage didn't get a lot of use out of it the balloons were already going away from the air sweeper at that point so yeah it didn't get too much use out of that raid spell but nevertheless it, like i said it was almost like he's attacked this base with one spell short this air sweeper is pointed off in that direction so it's effectively useless at this point in time because they were taken out by the zaps this one almost useless because everything came in from behind so if you do consider this as part of your town hall 11 strategy do consider which way the air sweepers are facing if you can zap them as well or if you can come in behind them or something like that or if you can zap something so that even if you don't come in behind it it doesn't matter so in this case taking out these two air defenses meant that that air sweeper didn't need to go down because nothing was going to go over that way anyway. So that was okay that the air sweeper stayed up. And as you can see, complete and utter wipeout of this base. When you have eight dragons, 160 troop space left over at the end, I call that a wipeout of a base. In any case, that's all I've got for this video. If you have any questions or comments about it, do please leave them down below. If you like this sort of thing, you want to see more of it, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.